podcast. So what are your top five podcasts to Van Lathan? Oh, good. Good question. My top five, my number five is a new podcast. It's called Factories. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trivia show, dog. That shit is lit, dog. Okay. Like, it's a, it's a trivia show that comes on. So Factories is number five. Uh, um, number four, I would say, probably right now, is Joe Rogan. I love listening to Joe Rogan. Man, that changed the game this whole week, bro. Like that shit. Woo, man. <laughs> man. I love listening to Joe Rogan. Man, got much respect to Joe Rogan, 100%. Joe Rogan is great. Uh, number three is The Read uh, with Crystal and Kid Fury. It's a fantastic podcast. Built an unbelievable audience over time. Crystal and Kid Fury are, number one, uh, are, are amazing. Number two is the Joe Button podcast with Rory Ma. Mm -hmm. Love that. Number one is a tie. Uh oh. Okay. It's a tie between a podcast I listen to all the time, uh, called Stuff You Should Know. Yeah, I probably um, stuff you should know. Yeah. And the Brilliant Idiots. Okay. Um, and if there was a number six in this list, I always do a bonus one, it would be Revisionist History with Malcolm Gladwell. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, uh -huh. no, um, I listen to a whole bunch of podcasts, so it's like I'm always, you know, which and which is dope because I feel like the what I like about podcasts a lot is that whoever the host is or the people on the podcast, um, with that long form format, you get a deeper understanding of who these people well, are. They are, yeah, mm -hmm. and I think and I love that because I'm like that's when you really start, you know, like I fuck with this person heavily, you know what I'm saying, and you start really understanding who they are. Um, that's why one of the reasons why, like I said, when 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 you were mentioned Charlamagne the God, I was like one of the things that I noticed, and I don't th I don't know if he noticed it, um, when he's talking to people that's not into the geek culture. He shames his Wolverine tattoo. But then when he's talking to somebody that's part of the geek culture, he praises his Wolverine tattoo. And I was like, that's why I was like, I want to talk to him because I want to let him know, like, bro, it's okay, man. Like, love I'm gonna get him on here. Tattoo. I'm gonna get him on here. Bro, uh, bro, uh, listen here. You will be forever in like my praises if you can help that out. <laughs> I'm gonna get him on here so you can get so you can go, like hold him accountable for that. I'm gonna get him I on do. here. I'm gonna talk I to do. him. I'm gonna probably get, get on the phone with him when I get off on here. I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna get him on here though. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. 